Bob's and Ants have cooperation down to a fine art. After all, they've been practicing it for more than a hundred million years. A Matabili ant scouts for termites on the African savanna. But once it finds them, it retreats. Its job was just to locate the target. Now it returns to the nest, leaving a trail of pheromones behind it. These chemical markers will help it lead the rest of the colony straight to dinner. Termites are peaceful herbivores, farming fungus to support their colony. They have no warning for what's heading their way. Once the Matabili ants are close to the termite hill, the scout releases new pheromones. A chemical rallying call that triggers the attack. The marauders flood the termite mound, stinging their prey. Their venom breaks down the termite's cells. This surprise attack might reap rewards, but it isn't risk-free. Termites have powerful jaws and bite back. Matabili ants don't just work as a team to hunt. Injured ants release a save me pheromone. It brings nurse ants running. Using their saliva, thought to be antimicrobial, they lick the wounds, saving nine out of ten of the injured ants. Matabili ants are the only species of invertebrate to display this kind of behavior. On the battlefield, the attack is over in minutes. The raiders then carry their termite takeout back to their nest to feed the colony's larvae and worker ants. The rewards of cooperative hunting are clear and well understood in predatory mammals and insects. But scientists are beginning to uncover teamwork in more surprising branches of the animal kingdom. The wetlands of Australia. Summer rains and swelling rivers are the perfect